Hey, hey, Chris. Hey, Mel, how are you? Good. I wanted to chat about um, fact or fiction. When someone has all their down payment saved up, which it's a pretty big feat to do anyways, they just assume that they can just run out and go look at houses. What do you think of that? Uh, I think it's a good first step to have the down payment, but yeah. I think there's lots of steps along the way. Um, to qualify for a mortgage, you have to consider where your credit is at, what your debt load is at, what your current employment is at, uh, and the one thing that everyone always forgets, which is the actual property. Um, a lot of thing, a lot of people get concerned about everything they have to do for themselves. Yeah. But what if the property they're buying has some uh, unknown issues? Uh, maybe the value isn't there. Maybe it's a condo that has some red flags that um, aren't showing anywhere on the MLS listing. Um, there's a lot more to consider than, of course, just the down payment. But you're right. Like having the down payment is 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 a great place to start, and then for a lot of people, it isn't a small feat. But sometimes, let's say someone has a hundred k even put away, they just assume they can go buy whatever house they want. But it's really important to talk to someone like yourself because they don't necessarily know what their um, total debt service ratio is. Because if they just assume, well, I have you know two car payments and I have all this credit card debt, but hey, I got a hundred k to buy a house, that still doesn't mean you can buy a house, right? Yeah, absolutely. They might have lost their job the week prior. Yeah. Um, we, we've had those, those instances, too, where people have said to us, well, I have the down payment, but I'm currently not employed. Um, there's sometimes equity-based programs that we can use, uh, but the rates on those are quite expensive. You, you right. wouldn't be anywhere close to what current bank rates are. Right. So the other flip side, too, is even if they do have the down payment and they do have a job, their job probably they don't probably realize it probably limits how much they can buy. Because I think sometimes people think if I have 5% of my dream like home price, that they have a job, that they're steady, they have good credit, that they should still be able to buy that house that they want to buy. Yeah, and there's way more factors to that. I mean, like, it's, it's all a matter of looking at a full picture. Yeah. Uh, and that's why having a proper pre-approval where documents are being reviewed, um, where uh, you know we're actually proving the source of the down payment. That's another thing that some people don't realize is you know their saved down payment. Is it a saved down payment or you know is it a gift from someone or uh, is it the sale of a, a vehicle or, or or something that's out of the norm? There's more steps involved in that that we have to make sure the lender uh, is on 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 side with when okay. we go through that process. Okay. No, that's really good. I wanted to just kind of bring that up, up as a fact or fiction thing because I think that's just one part. I mean, it's a, a struggle for a lot of people to even get to their down payment. So when they get it, they think, well, I don't need to talk to a mortgage broker until I save up my down payment. But that's why we will always encourage people to talk to you guys because just because they're Absolutely. saving a down payment, they still have other things they may be needing to do to get their like credit in line or yeah. all that stuff. Yeah, and I mean, like we've we've met with people that you know, it's taken them two, three years to actually get to that point of purchasing. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's a helpful thing to do because we can help someone with the planning behind that. Yeah. Uh, having the down payment again, that's great. But, you know, what if you went through a bankruptcy five years ago or you decided that, you know, making car payments on a car that, you know, you don't own anymore isn't what you want to do. Whatever it happens to be, like right. there's always something there that, I mean, if we're able to uncover that and build a plan based around, you know, more than just having a down payment saved, um, we can, you know, we can help them with uh, a proper pre-approval and a proper plan moving forward. Okay, cool. Well, next time I'll try to get this actually live so we can answer anybody's okay. questions that comes on. But for yeah. now, thanks for your time and we'll talk yeah, to you no soon. Thanks, okay, okay, bye. Okay, talk soon. Take care.